Europe's hottest ever summer may be coming to an end, but in the beach resort of Benidorm, the sun is still shining. Hey, yeah, it's 27, it's absolutely fine. I mean, I'm burned from head to toe, but that's just by the by, isn't it? Too hot during the day, yeah, unless you're actually in the pool. You know, uh, obviously the only uh, respite you get is, is in the hotel room where you've got the aircon. con. You just need to be able to feel a bit of the heat into your bones. Other than that, if it gets too hot, you can't go out in it. In Mediterranean countries, climate change is starting to be felt in the tourism industry. We used to have uh, way smoother nights. Uh, the temperature used to, to go down a little bit and we have a little rest at night, right? But this, this summer, for 20, 25 days, uh, that didn't happen. So maybe in the future we will have way more people uh, coming to our destination in the winter and autumn and not that much in summer. Temperatures are increasing in the Mediterranean region 20% faster than the global average. Here in Spain, there were four heat waves last summer, during which temperatures exceeded 40 Celsius in many areas of the country, as the authorities recommended that people remained indoors during the hottest time of day. Italy saw record temperatures over the summer, and wildfires caused thousands of people to be evacuated from islands in Greece. La semana ha empezado con calor, pero las temperaturas van a ir subiendo con el paso. The science suggests these are not freak weather events. La tendencia para los próximos años. The tendency over the coming years will be longer summers, starting earlier and finishing later, and we will have longer, more intense heat waves. The possibility of extreme heat seems to be influencing where many holidaymakers go. Since the pandemic, cooler destinations like Denmark and Iceland have been particularly popular. We are seeing a gradual but sustained trend that people are travelling more to the north of Spain and to northern Europe, and this will continue. It's still too soon to know the full impact of climate change on tourism. But it could be that southern European resorts like Benidorm will soon face stiff competition from places where the sun doesn't always shine. Guy Hedgeco, BBC News, Benidorm.